everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're doing our makeup rehab. So like, whoop, whoop, I'm excited for makeup rehab. I'm actually filming this and my empties all on the same date for like the first time this year. So my numbers in both videos will actually be the same, <laughs> which is like awesome because that's never happened yet. And what I'm trying to do for makeup rehab is really try and curtail my spending and really figure out, am I spending my money wisely and how to dial back a little bit because I know that my makeup cabinet here <laughs> is uh, gonna expire basically 75% of it before I get to use it. So I'm just trying to like be a little bit smarter about my purchases, I'm trying to be accountable, and that's what this video is all about. So here we are, it is the end of July, and I have killed it, okay? First of all, I've been traveling up a storm. <laughs> and second of all, I didn't order anything from Sephora or Ulta, like, Nothing. I made one group purchase from Walmart and that was like pretty much it. And then I went to like um, a German drugstore and I bought something there. But like that was it. That was it. So like I'm very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. Oh, I also bought something in the airport. But like you're going to see all of it. And this is going to be like a really short video because girl killed it this month. Like, oh, I was hoping to spend less than $50. And I think I did that. Like what? Oh my God. Super excited about that. My expensive purchase this month was in an airport and I was flying from Ireland back to Germany where I live and I just happened to see that in the Dublin airport that there's a Mac counter and they had all of these new Mac Prep and Prime scents and I kind of had my eye on these for a little bit but I'm like, you know, I don't really need any Prep and Prime at the moment. Um, I've got a, a full bottle in my cabinet as back stock and I'm kind of like thinking like, mm, I don't really need it. But then I smelled them because I was killing about an hour in the airport. And this is the one I really love. So I got the Prep and Prime in white tea setting spray. It's the one with the leaves on it. I just got in a little travel size because I didn't want to splurge on the big size. But like, this smells so good. This is a little bit herbly, as you can probably imagine it being tea, but it has this nice, fresh summer scent. Some of the other ones I smelled had like a sweeter scent to it, and I don't know if it want, I didn't, my thing is when I smell sweet, I kind of think sticky and sugary, kind of like a popsicle, and I didn't want to go there, but I smelled this one, I was like, oh, must get it, <laughs> must get it. So I did purchase this guy in Dublin, um, but that's my most expensive purchase, most expensive purchase. So what I got from Walmart <laughs> was a new cognac sponge. This is, I'm trying the Precision Beauty Soft and Gentle Cognac Sponge. I am not uh, exactly sure like where else you can get this. This is by Swisco, so I think you can get a bunch of different places. I have tried the cognac sponge from Julep. And I, they are not selling that at all anymore. So I saw this one and I was just like, you know, I want to try this one. Um, it's white instead of black, which I think will be interesting. Normally the mold shows up on those and like little white dots. I'm a little nervous to see like, is this going to show the same amount? But they're really, really soft and I like to wash my face in the shower with those. So I'm excited to have that again. They don't last very long. For me, they only last about two weeks. And that's not true. <laughs> two months is what I meant to say. Definitely two months, not two weeks. Um, and I do keep mine in the shower. I dry it before and after every use, but like they still don't last very long because it's a shower and it's like it, there is some moisture in there. This is really why I did my purchase. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose um, Spray. This is the Primer Water. I'm sure you all have seen this. Um, this is a three-in-one primer water prep set and refresh. I'm going to try and use this as primer as well as a setting spray. Um, this is just 1.5 fluid ounces, which I thought was really interesting because the Urban Decay one is 4 ounces. So this one's like significantly less in size, but I want to try it and see what the rose scent is all about. I inherently like rose um, oils, so I don't know about rose primer, and I'm hoping there's rose oil in it instead of just water. Let's see if it says. Oh, that's actually interesting. It doesn't say anything about rose actually in here, unless it's the Camilla Census Leaf Extract. There's also chamomile and radish root. Interesting. Um, yeah, there's actually no rose in here, but there is fragrance. So I might have made a mistake with this one, but we'll try it. We'll see what happens. And then at the German drugstore, I just saw this thing. Um, it is one of those little hairbrushes. 
And I just thought this would be really, really good for travel. I'm really tired of carrying my big wet brush in my bag. So I'm going to open this one up and we'll see if this is any good. Maybe there's stickers on it. Which is good, because that means like no one touched it. But also bad, because now I can't get into it. Yeah, so there are the thinner brushes that are more flexible there, and the bristles are pretty flexible. That's what it looks like on the inside, so you can see they're like taller bristles and then shorter bristles. Let's see. Yeah, it feels okay. It actually feels very cheap, to be honest with you. It feels just like a cheap piece of plastic, but it might be okay to travel with. This is interesting. I feel like it's bringing the oils more forward in my hair. Uh, that might have been a bad purchase. I was hoping it was going to be like an off-brand wet brush. I don't know. I'll continue playing with it and see how it works out. I don't have any loose hair in there, which is good. That's like a first for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that like did anything to my hair? <laughs> oh, dang. I might have just thrown my, water, my money away, but okay. That's, that. That's all I purchased. That's it. Four items. <laughs> so proud of myself. I can't believe I finally only purchased four items. Um, now next month, Hollow Tacos restocking. <laughs> so I may purchase some nail polishes. We'll see what happens. But this is my total of everything that I purchased this month. This is the total of everything I've spent this year. And this is the number of my empties. So I'm hoping I'm in the positive. Let's see right here. Am I am I in the positive? Editing Julie, am I in the positive? I'm hoping that is a yes. I'm hoping that number is in the positive, but I really do appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting um, myself and like on this like crazy journey that I am. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.